Alright, so hey yo, what's up vipers? In this video, let's talk about this lit RDA by Vendy Vips. Okay, this is the mesh. Mesh lah, you can insert mesh also can. You can insert coils also can. It's a clamping style, dual coil option. I prefer you insert dual coil lah. If you insert single coil because the air flow ah, this air flow ah, okay, is that does not just only one side. You, how you twist it also got two side there are two different types of airflow you can choose for this top cap for this top cap okay it's a squonk rda as well you don't want to squonk this okay no problem but i prefer when you squonk it Oi. there is no leaking all right so without wasting our time let's just take a look more closer about this lit rda this is how the packaging looks like and also i forget to tell you all i gonna thanks to vip sourcing that sent me this product for review purpose you all can try to purchase at vipsourcing.com for only 22.9 usd let's take a look more closer So what is up vapors? This is the Vandy Vape Bleed RDA packaging. It looks like this. Gonna thanks to Vip Sourcing that sent me this product for review. Inside the packaging, you will receive one lit RDA. Hoo -hoo. Take a look at the airflow right here. Peel these things off. You will get the frost tip, 810 frost tip. And the black color Derlin drip tip is also 810. And this is the back of the accessories. Squong pin include right here. We will get a little bit of the mesh. It's a stainless steel 316L mesh wire, 0 0.15 ohm, and the user manual. So if you don't like this resin drip tip, you can change the Derlint whole black, all black, or you can use the frost tip. All right? Oh, this is lit. This is nice, guys. So there are two pins available. This is a flat type gold bladed 510 pin and also the squonk pin, all right? It's 31.4 millimeter in height and 24 millimeter in width atomizer. Stainless steel material. You got a black stainless steel gold and rainbow color. This is how the inside looks like. It's a clamping style. So you want to use mesh, no problem. You want to use coils, no problem. Right here, you can see this dot right here. This is the squonk. So when you squonk it, the juice will come out from this hole right here. And this hole right here, left and the right. And it's got the nice juice well right here. Very, very nice juice well. See, it's quite deep also. And when you open up this screw, this inside this is a spring, all right? There, so your coil must be inserted right here and right here, okay? There is an insulator at the middle and this side, this side, there. It's a spring, spring, okay? So the screw might be a little bit long. Let's take a look. There, this is the screw. In case you lost this screw, there is another screw. Two screws for you all, right here. Try to open it up. There you go, inside there is a sp two spring located at the RDA and two springs at the top right here. Okay, so this is how the design. Put it back, slowly. So it, oh yeah, fuck, I just lost one of my spring. So guys, be careful about the spring. It's very easy to jump and it's very lightweight. When it falls down, it doesn't have any sounds. Just very be careful. Or you're gonna put it at the insulator right here and right here. Only you put it at the deck like this. Okay, press it and put back the screws. So I'm not going to use the mesh today because there is so many people using the mesh for this lit RDA. In this video, I'm going to use the fuse clapton. It's very easy. Just put your coil, one at the top and one at below, like this. And what you're going to do is you hold the coils and you measure. You cut off the end. Oh. Oh. And you measure the second one, like this. Now you can insert the coils like this and like this. Just screw it not too tight. We're going to adjust the coil. Pull it out a bit only we tighten the screws. Oh yeah, so damn fast guys. See? So damn nice, so damn fast. Easy to build the cars. So after insert into the G-Box, uh, 70 watt, 
This is how it looks like, the firing. I'm gonna insert the squonk pin and wicking and let's just see. Put it back on. Open it up. Let's take a look at the hole. Small hole right there. When you press the squonk. There. 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 The e-juice flow out two sides. And the cons for this RDA is there is no notch. So it is quite hard if you tighten the atomizer too tight. You cannot snap these things and you open like this. Twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. Because there is no notch. And there are 16 holes right here for the airflow. Two sides, 16 holes, 16 holes. Honestly, I very like about this design. It's very nice, see? Not only these 16 holes, you still got the another type. This shape, this kind of shape. Another design. Different feeling, see? Ho ho. So you can take this off as well. This is how the top cap looks like. So the airflow, you cannot choose single coil, there is only dual coil. But for the RDA, you can insert a single coil. I don't recommend that you use a single coil also, because when you're squaring it, the juice will go out from these two sides. Let's put it back on. And I'm really sorry about this hand guys, really sorry about these hands. It looks dirty because Malaysia got an election. Ah. <sighs> now let's just try to wicking. Like this, and now I'm gonna try to squong it. Press, 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 press. It's getting wet. See, it will directly touch the coil. Okay, the e juice will directly go up and touch the coil without leaking. You just press for a few times, and everything is wet. Oh, so fast guys, so fast. Press the fire button. Oh, so there is no bottom airflow for this lit RDA, so it won't get that easily to leaking. Everything's wet. Right, everything's wet. There are two O-rings right here. The O-rings very, very thick, okay? Oh yeah. And there's the logo right here. Lit, very nice, designed, simple and nice, okay? What's good about this? It gives you three drip tips inside one packaging. Now let's just try. Oh yeah. So welcome back guys. So this is how the lead RDA looks like. There are three drip tips. So three drip tips, three eight ten drip tips inside one packaging. Oh, if you some people they don't like about the racing. Racing looks ugly because it's random. Sometimes they came with the racing not nice, not match with the RDA sometimes. And if you don't like the racing, you still can use the turning black color drip tips or the frost tip. Frost tip is so fucking lit because this is the lead RDA. And as I told you all just now, ah, there are two types of airflow you can choose. You know, one is like this one is dot like this 16 holes if not mistaken okay so, so the feeling is almost the same like it's just the design okay you see oh wish it's very easy to inhale until mix until I cannot inhale that long uh, you must close a little bit air flow uh. these things is really lit uh, try, try to use the dot 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 one, okay, the 16 dots. <laughs> 70 watt is not enough for this RDA, okay, because the airflow is very easy to inhale. You must pump up more higher, around 90 or 100 something watt. 109 watt, let's just try with two fuse clapton, DJV fuse clapton. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you all guys about this lead RTA. It's only 22.9 USD at vapesourcing.com. Uh. You all remember uh, guys. So at the first uh, I thought because the airflow uh, was not have the 45 degrees or any type. It's just a size airflow. There is no bottom airflow. I thought the airflow was okay okay. But when you vape it that time, uh, it's not bad. The airflow is really not bad. 
if you want to compare with the bottom airflow RTA or RTA uh, cannot lah I'm sure cannot lah but it, it's also okay it's can, it, there's no leaking issue okay there's no leaking issue and if you want to compare about the Woto 4 recurve RDA by Mike Bates, uh, that RDA also not bad okay I already tried to squang it there is also no leaking same as this there is no leaking still look very very simple and nice you know I like this type of RDA so much very simple and nice Especially the words right here, the name for this RDA, LIT, uh, L-I-T, LIT, also the airflow, looks nice. I check and see the color, uh, there are four types of color, you know, black, silver, gold, and rainbow color. It's not seven color, it's rainbow color. There is no problem if you don't want to squonk, you just put the 510 pin there, it's okay. I fall in love with this lit RDA now, okay? It's by Vendi Vape, uh. this is how the packaging looks like, la, okay? So I think that's all that I'm gonna tell you in this videos. Remember to purchase at vapesourcing.com for only 22.9 USD, alright? So I'll see you all at my next videos again. Arika Talk, Kamsamina.